I just built a brand new mobile app in two weeks with the help of Cursor. And in this video, I wanna dive into just how exactly I built this mobile app, how I built it so quickly with the help of AI, specifically with Cursor as my editor of choice, and as well as just a little bit more business details about why I built this app, my plan to grow this app, and some of the future visions I have for this app as well. So let's get into it. Now, the app that I'm building, you're gonna love this. It is an AI wrapper tool. Whoa, I know, crazy novel, no one's done that before. Specifically, I'm gonna be building a tool that is an AI audio recorder and then it automatically transcribes that recording and then it allows users to chat with that recording as well, the recording transcript as well, to get all of the information that they want. I know a lot of you are gonna be hearing that, you're gonna be like, bro, there's so many of these out there, that's a stupid AI wrapper, why are you building that, that's so dumb. I agree with all of the above, it is an AI wrapper. Yes, there's so many of them out there. Yes, I totally agree with you. I definitely used to be that type of builder in the past where I used to have like a really large ego where I was like, no, I must build something that is artful, that is original, that no one has ever seen before. I must create something new. And then I realized, holy shit, I can't make money like that. Or it's really, really hard to make money like that. So now I've actually changed my whole perspective of building products to optimize for making some type of money because it is my dream to be able to live off of building my own apps and making money from the apps that I've built and not having to work a day job anymore like I have been for the past couple of years. And because of that, as well as the fact that I am bootstrapped, meaning I didn't raise any type of venture money, I have a really small team of myself and my co-founder named Andrew Meng, known as Meng Meng Duck on social media. He handles all the marketing. I handle all the building. We've realized like, look, because we're not venture backed and because we don't have these grand visions of creating a multi-billion dollar company, we don't need to be original. We don't really have that privilege necessarily to go out and try to create net new products. Instead, our whole thesis is this. We know that our competitive advantage lies in the fact that we're really good at B2C marketing, specifically amongst knowledge workers and corporate workers, because myself and Andrew, we grew on social media by making funny corporate knowledge worker content. And we know that space really well. So because of that, our main strategy is going to be, be focused around building tools that we know we can market on social media. Specifically, that means building tools that we know we can market to a yuppie crowd, a young professional crowd, knowledge worker, white collar worker crowd, because that is a group that we know very, very well. And more specifically, we're not going to be building necessarily a new tool. We don't want to go in and try to validate a market. We want to go into an already validated market. And by the fact that there are so many apps out there that are already doing this AI audio audio recording, AI audio transcription, that market's been validated. We know people are willing to pay for those products. And in fact, there were two products in particular that inspired me to build my own version of this. Number one is this app called Wave Audio Notes and Transcription. I believe they released earlier this year and they've already scaled to $4 million of recurring revenue. That's insane. So it's not too late. At first, I was really worried about building this app, thinking that we were way too late to the AI audio recording wave. But the fact that this one app's already scaled to 4 million ARR in the past year is a pretty good signal that it is not too late. And another great example of an app that's doing this is one called Minutes. It's another AI recording and transcription app that released a couple of months ago, and it's already at 30, 40K monthly recurring revenue, which is really impressive as well. And it's also an app that people are already willing to pay for. This is a great candidate for a new app for me to build. So once again, I'm the technical person where I built out the whole thing myself and with the help of AI, and I did not know how to build an app at all. And while building this application, I decided to build it with React Native, which I've actually never done before. At first, it was pretty daunting to go out and try to build this app with React Native since it's essentially a new framework that I have to learn. But luckily, Claude and Cursor makes it so easy to build these things out and so much easier to learn a new framework to the point where I'm relatively confident about my skills about going out and building another React Native application since I've done this successfully one time within two weeks with the help of Cursor to build it with me. So the way that I did this was really simple. I decided specifically to use Expo to build out my application. Cursor actually has this function where you can upload images and then tell Cursor to rebuild the component that you attach in that image. So what I ended up doing was I would go on these apps, Wave, Minute, and other apps that I found on the app store as well. I would screenshot the various screens that I like and I would upload them into my cursor ID and tell them, can you rebuild this component and spit it back out for me? So it would rebuild the component. It would look pretty functional. And then from there, I will continue chat with my cursor ID and say, can you explain to me what exactly this individual block of code is doing? Can you walk me through step by step how the code that you just wrote out, how it translates over into this Expo application that you see on the left hand side. And since I'm naturally a full stack web developer, that's where I'm a lot more comfortable. I would also ask it like, hey, explain this in the context of web development. If I wanted to do XYZ function in web development, how do I do this in Expo with React Native instead? And by going through this process of screenshotting, uploading, chatting, screenshotting, uploading, chatting, screenshotting, uploading, chatting, I was able to build a really pretty fleshed out mobile application relatively quickly, way quicker than I would have pre-AI. So I really recommend if you're out there trying to learn how to build any type of application out there, use Claude, use AI. It is one of the best learning tools to help guide you and take 
take you to that like minimum functional level of learning how to build an application. And then once you're there, that's when you have to start going into more like detailed documentation and diving into some more details here and there to figure out how certain things work. But getting to that minimum baseline level of how to build a very simple like, CRUD application, I think AI is a wonderful application in helping you pair program your way to that minimum level of competency. So that's how I ended up building out this Expo React Native application inspired by other AI audio recording apps that I've seen on the internet as well. I wanted to differentiate it by adding a web component as well, because I think based on what I saw out there, most of the AI audio recording apps, they're all only on the phone where you record on the phone, it transcribes in the cloud, and then you chat with it and you look at the transcription on your phone. But sometimes I could see a use case specifically with more corporate workers where they would maybe want to record something on their phone, but then they want to chat with it, work with it on their laptop because they want a little bit more screen real estate. And maybe they want to copy and paste text quickly to send it over to their boss via Slack a lot more quickly compared to your phone. So that's why now the app that I built, which we actually named Monty, M-O-N-T-E-E, -E, we'll include links to it in the description down below. It is a mobile application that's available on Android as well as iOS and as well as on web. It's a cross-platform, it syncs across all of your devices. And that's kind of the way that we differentiated ourselves after originally being inspired by a lot of the other AI audio transcription apps out there in the market. We do think that by specifically targeting more corporate users and a corporate audience, knowledge worker audience, this is a pretty compelling offer compared to what's already out there as well. So that's a quick overview about the brand new product that I built. It is a mobile application with a web app component. It's called Monty and it's not original. It's not new. It's already existing. And that's the beauty of it. We're going into an already existing, already validated market. And we're going to be using our known strengths. We know that we can make this product go viral on social media. We know how to make content specifically targeting the audience that we're targeting. And that is why we're pretty confident that this will do well. And I'll definitely give another update maybe in like the 30 day mark to see how exactly progress is going. And hopefully we'll have good progress by then. And once again, highly recommend that if you are trying to build out any application yourself, you want to build out your own SaaS tool yourself, you need to use AI. You got to use AI. It's going to make your life so much easier. You're going to build so much faster and you're going to learn how to build these things so much faster than ever, ever before. The bar for building great SaaS products and great software tools is getting lower and lower every single month, every single year. So hop on it right now. Truly the barrier of entry has never been lower than right now. So definitely get out there, go build, use AI to learn. So thanks for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.